In most of California, there are uh, air emission challenges. This Central Valley of California is the, the second worst in the nation, and there are very stringent diesel exhaust rules. Well, the city of Bakersfield um, had been running more bark equipment for a lot of years in the past. And one of the challenges that they were facing was knowing what the future EPA or the California Air Resource Board, the CARB uh, regulations were gonna be and discussed electric options with us. Electric machines, no emissions, use less, you know, less carbon footprints. In 2008, this facility was electrified. We switched to a, a pair of the uh, Moorbark 7600 uh, electric power. Some of the benefits of an electric machine, of course, are the, the lack of uh, engine tune-ups and just in general keeping a diesel engine running. Although they're about one-to-one -one on the output with the diesel units, we experience less downtime because they have less upkeep with coolant, fuel injection, and air filters and so on. The original engineering estimate was that there'd be one and a quarter times the cost or the energy when we electrified. We surprisingly found less energy consumption. Some of the new features in the Moorbark grinders we, we uh, bought were uh, actually energy saver. We have very strict uh, emissions regulations, not only in the state of California, but here specifically in South Lake Tahoe. We started off with the electric machine simply because we didn't want the fumes from the diesel machine here in this facility and also because after the initial startup, it's generally a quieter machine. Here at this particular location, we're surrounded by other businesses and residents, and uh, they had a very co a great concern with vibration and noise. And because of the electric machine, uh, there's virtually no noise outside of the building and very, very, very little vibration. It just fit uh, all the needs. I run a transfer station here in Contra Costa County, Martinez, California. We process a lot of different materials, including green waste, wood waste, cardboard, aluminum, and we also process food waste, and of course we accept regular garbage. So the food waste comes to us from the Municipal Solid Waste Authority, uh, from the kitchen area, it's not from the table scraps. And when that food waste comes here for processing, we run it through our Moorbark grinder, and we haul it off to East Bay Mud to put in the digester and collect the methane gas. Food waste breaks down and creates a methane gas. Collecting that and then piping that in to produce electricity um, is another use for food waste. Our Moorbark 2600 electric uh, grinder runs very efficiently, doesn't require a whole lot of maintenance. We spend more time just cleaning it than doing any, anything else. <laughs> I believe after uh, seeing how efficiently the food waste process works for us, I think more companies will want to get involved with doing the same type of process. Well, this electric panel that we've got here shows Moorbark's commitment to really taking it to the next level for our customers. Every electric machine now actually goes into a full run at full RPM test to make sure that when we take and deliver it to our customer and they hook it to their power source, it's ready to go grinding. If you look at uh, a lot of our customers in Northern California, in my territory, the Moorbark is the preferred machine and uh, it is that way because it is a, a superior machine and uh, it's, it's backed.